Doesn't it look like something your buddy next door built in the backyard for the kids? I mean, look at that thing. I gotta admit, Fort Monroe is kind of impressive. I mean, you hear about places like Fort Monroe your whole life, but when you get here, you're like, wow, this is really, really cool. But I'll tell you something, there's like private residents mixed in with everything else, like this lighthouse. I'm not sure if it's in somebody's yard. You know what I'm saying? Fort Monroe is the largest stone fort built in the U.S. and for a long time it was the home of artillery school. That's kind of cool. The reason why they built this fortress, and I mean it is a fortress, when you look at it, it is just so impressive to be here and to see how large this thing is, especially for the time period it was built. But I mean, also, it's who all was involved. I mean, Robert E. Lee put the finishing touches on this place. Jefferson Davis, when they caught him down in the South, they hauled him up here for his trial that he never actually had. But this is where he was quartered while he was awaiting that trial. It turns out he got real sick and they moved him around and they released him on bail. But I mean, this is sort of when America started coming into its own. I mean, really coming into its own. And the War of 1812 taught us a lot of lessons. And one of those lessons was, hey, you better have some amazing forts in strategic positions. This thing reminds me of a medieval castle. I mean, it's got like water surrounding it. It's like your moat. All you need is a dragon and some spaceships or something. Okay, I, I get it. It's the wrong time period, but that'd be really cool. All you need are sharks with lasers on their head going through here for this to be like the fortress for a real bad guy or something. Or maybe a damsel in distress. Wait a minute, that's not politically correct anymore. I love going to battlefields and forts and just experiencing the history of the place. You know, if these walls could talk, I mean, I look around and I see all of these walls and boy, if these walls could talk, they would tell you about hard work and discipline. They would be able to tell you all of the amazing things and horrific things that took place during the Civil War especially, but it's a part of our history. It's a part of our heritage. And so as I look around, there's a part of me that is a little sad because war is not to be celebrated ever. But the sacrifices that these men and often women during that time period made is something to talk about and something to admire and appreciate. Hey listen, if you're a subscriber, I just want to say welcome back and I'm so grateful that you watch all of our videos and that you always hit that like button. Don't forget to share our video content because that's the only way that we can grow our channel. And listen, if you're new to A Nose for Life, welcome and I sure do hope you enjoy our content. Now let's get back to Fort Monroe. No, come on, seriously. It, it looks like something that you would buy at Home Depot or Lowe's for the kids. It's got like a bouncy on the bottom level. Then you can climb to the top, maybe some rope swings on the way down. Somebody needs to build that because if, if somebody doesn't have that in their backyard, they should. Wait a minute, somebody already has that in their backyard. There's no rope swings, but there, there should be. That is just perfect for kids.
The strength of this fort is entirely based on those arches that you're seeing right now in this video. seen this view here behind me in history books in high school history books in college I mean this is just kind of something that's iconic if you will behind me you can hear a helicopter right now and if I'm not mistaken it's a Black Hawk this area is still a strategic area just as much as it was a hundred years ago or 200 years ago I mean, when you're here you almost feel like you're at the forefront of America's defenses it's really cool <laughs> eighth grade American history or high school American history maybe a little bit of college you know about the Battle of the Ironclads well that took place between the USS Monitor as well as the USS Virginia right out there I mean if you look in the distance you can see some ships it's like a shipyard or something and right there out in the middle of the water is where the famous Battle of the Ironclads took place it's kind of cool like everywhere you look here everywhere in every direction you are touching and seeing American history it's really cool our country has changed quite a bit over the past 50 years and a whole lot over the past 10 and we're still changing even now for example Jefferson Davis who was the president of the Confederacy he actually had a, a memorial here and there's a marker there now explaining that they've taken the name Jefferson Davis off of the marker and so it's not really celebrated any longer if I would have been the National Park I think I would have just taken the memorial for Jefferson Davis down and not put a reason why. I mean, I think it's awful nice of them to be considerate to people who may have a different opinion about Jefferson Davis, you know, than maybe a lot of people do these days. I wouldn't have even known that there was a marker for Jefferson Davis if they hadn't have told me there was one, you know? So it's almost like, well, thanks, but now you've got me thinking about stuff that I would rather not think about while I'm at this awesome fort. Okay, so enough of the serious history stuff and the dark stuff. The truth of the matter is, is that as I'm walking across the wall of this fort right here, it also invokes a little bit of my imagination. I mean, just, you know, when you're kids and you're playing army, you're playing war, or whatever, Star Wars, Return of the Jedi, whatever, it just looks like a castle, a fortress, because that's what it is. It's a fortress, it's a fort. It is an impenetrable force.
so much for watching this video. It's been a lot of fun. Please hit the like button and the subscribe button. My name is Bill Marion, and this is A Nose for Life. Hey, if you have time, check out some of these other videos.